All right. <clears throat> Number one, what event had just happened prior to our movie clip? I give you a hint. I included that in all of the gospel accounts. This was the feeding. Feeding of the 5,000. Yeah. This is a big deal. And how did the feeding of the 5,000 go? Was that kind of a, nobody liked the food or somebody got food poisoning? <laughs> it was fantastic. They, um, I think it was uh, Matthew, Mark, John. One of them said, oh yeah, John says in John 15, 6, 15, Jesus knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force <laughs> withdrew again to a mountainside by himself. And then he sends his disciples away. It's getting too hot. The uh, kids, the disciples, are going to get sucked into this. It's time to go across the lake, guys. And I'm sure they were frustrated. I don't think that was necessarily off the mark. I bet you a lot of them were divided. Because it was so good. Why would we want to stop that? And Jesus, of course, did not want to take over. He was not starting a rebellion. This was not a political movement. Uh, he was coming to die for the sins of the world, of course. Number two, what did the crowds and the disciples think of Jesus? And then the question is, what do you think of Jesus? I don't know that they saw him. I don't know that they could have seen him as the Savior of the world. I don't know if they can divorce that in their head and separate that so easily. Um, when I was younger, I always thought, man, these guys are dumb. How could they not figure that out? But... I don't know that I'm in a whole lot brighter. Um, I, I think I would have gotten sucked along too. Because it's a lot of fun and it's pretty cool. And sometimes even as I pastor a church, I need to take a step back and say, what are we trying to do here? We're not trying to, it's not all about the numbers. It's not anything at all costs. It's, we're here to tell people about Jesus. That's our job and nothing else. Other things can help. But like on Trunk or Treat, you might say, oh, this is fantastic. There are sometimes we, I think our record is we had over 300 people here one year. And you're riding high, but we're not going to do that again next week because who cares if we give out candy? <laughs> it doesn't. It's good to meet people. It's good to start that. But eventually you need to tell them about Jesus. Otherwise, you're, not, you're kind of wasting your time. That's not the end. The end is not to draw a crowd. The end is to connect souls to Jesus. Well, how could Peter walk on water? Through faith, yeah. And it doesn't say how far he got. I know that they only showed him taking two steps. I like to think Jesus was a whole football field away and he made it 50 yards, right? We don't really know, of course. It's like how long were Adam and Eve um, in the Garden of Eden in perfection? I'd like to say a decade, but probably not. They didn't have kids, so probably not long at all. So also, what did Peter get? A couple steps. Why did he sink? And before, so I'll just say, why did he sink before I say anything else? Doubt came. What, what does uh, Matthew say? I think it's when he saw the wind, verse 30. When he saw the wind. Can, can you see wind technically? When he saw a wall of water and, wa and the rain being driven into his face, yeah, that's when he, he saw the wind. Um, that's why he sunk. He took his eye off Jesus. What I really liked about that is that, for whatever reason, I think, Peter steps out and there's this little umbrella that appears over his head and he's just walking through. No, he was walking in the driving rain. And then he got distracted. The point is, can you walk with Jesus through the storms of life? Yes, you can. That's what's so amazing about Christians, is that you live in the same storm as everybody else. Worse. And you don't necessarily end up in a better place. And yet you're walking with Jesus the whole way. Because you know how the story ends. That's where the peace comes from. And last one in the movie, were there any extra disciples in the boat? Who'd you see? Mary Magdalene. Yeah, we don't, we, she's unnamed, but yeah, maybe they did say Mary. But 
Mary Magdalene, I don't know of any video producer. They love throwing Mary Magdalene in everything. Yeah. And was she there? I suppose it's an argument from silence. She could have been. She's not mentioned, so we assume not. But if you're making a movie, you're like, oh, you got to throw in Mary. Yeah. So. Any other questions about walking on the water? If not, there are no other announcements. May God give you all a blessed week.